Hello class. How are you? You are in second PUC class and second PUC is very much important in your career and you have to score well this year, isn't it? And remember, the second PUC class almost decides your life, isn't it? So therefore, my dear students, in the very beginning of this year, I wish you all the very best. Study well. May God bless you. And in my previous video, I had presented about the poem Romeo and Juliet. Isn't it? Who, who had written that poem? William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare, he was the stalwart of the English literature. And today, we are moving with another prose by name, Too Dear. Too Dear. Too, T-O-O, -O, means what? Too, Tumba, more. Dear means, one common meaning of the word dear we know, Apta, Tumba, Apta, Rajiro. Innondu, dear andre, costly. Tumba, Bele, Balu, Antadu. Hechina bele padu antadu. Too dear. Okay? Fine. And this is the name of this story. It's a short story. It's a short story. And it is. it was written by Leo Tolstoy. Avana purti hesaru. Count Leo Tolstoy. He born in the year 1828 and passed away in the year 1910. Count Leo Tolstoy. But popular agi. Leo Tolstoy in the Aurana Karita. And his two famous novels, Bada Shreshtavatanthayaru, Kadamari Gadana Padidayaru, Undu, War and Peace. Inundu, number one is War and Peace, number two is Anna Karenina. Anna Karenina. If you are a do, our Bartiranta, but a famous Adanta, popular Adanta novels. And in addition to that, a lot of short stories and a lot of poems. And wonderful thing is that he started his writings in his 20th year of age. So that is uh, his greatness. That is his greatness. Okay, fine. Now, we shall study about the prose. It's a short story. Too dear. Samanyavagi, uh, see, there is a proverb. Man proposes, God disposes. Tanundu bage dare manava, berundu bage itu dayu anta. Alwa. Na vandu konda hagi alla akta da. Agu illa, bere yano akta da. Hage, e story alli, uh, there is a king. And uh, uh, king want, king formed some rule. And but that rule itself reversed him. And so that is the gist of this story and the title of the prose is Too Dear. And we shall uh, read the lines and study paragraph by paragraph. Okay, look into the textbook. See, this is prose number two. Too dear and page number 6. I believe you have opened the pages and we shall see. Too dear by Leo Tolstoy. Look at the lines. Follow me. <clears throat> Near the borders of France and Italy, on the shore of the Mediterranean Sea, lies a tiny little kingdom called Monaco. Many a small country town can boast more inhabitants than this kingdom, for there are only about 7,000 of them all told, and if all the land in kingdom were divided there, would not be an acre for each inhabitant. But in this toy kingdom, there is a real kinglet, and he has a palace and courtiers and ministers, and a bishop and generals and an army. Undo, Sanna 
ಸಣ್ಣ ರಾಜ್ಯ ಇತ್ತು ಮೆಡಿಟರೇನಿಯನ್ ಸಮುದ್ರದ ಶೋರ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಶೋರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೆಡಿಟರೇನಿಯನ್ ಸಿ ಅದು ಎಲ್ಲಿತ್ತು ಫ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟಲಿ ಫ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟಲಿಯ ಗಡಿ ಪ್ರದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಆನ್ ದ ಶೋರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಡಿಟರೇನಿಯನ್ ಸಿ ದೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಎ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ಡಮ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಮೊನಾಕೋ ಅದು ಸಣ್ಣ ಒಂದು ರಾಜ್ಯ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಜನ ಇದ್ದರು ಆ ರಾಜ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಜನ ಇದ್ದರು ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ರು ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಬರೀ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಜನ ಇದ್ದರು ಸಣ್ಣ ರಾಜ್ಯ ಆದರೆ ಸಣ್ಣ ರಾಜ್ಯ ಆದರೂ ಕೂಡ ಸಿ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ದ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ಡಮ್ಸ್ ಯಾವ ಯಾವ ಯಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಇತ್ತಲ್ಲಿ ದಟ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ಲೆಟ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ಲೆಟ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಯುವರಾಜ ಯುವರಾಜನೊಬ್ಬ ಇದ್ದ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ಯಾಲೇಸ್ ಅರಮನೆ ಇತ್ತು ಹಿಸ್ ಕೋರ್ಟಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಆ ಸ್ಥಾನದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದಷ್ಟು ಜನ ಪಂಡಿತರು ಇದ್ದರು ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಮಂತ್ರಿಗಳು ಇದ್ದರು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎ ಬಿಷಪ್ ಬಿಷಪ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಕ್ರೈಸ್ತರ ಧರ್ಮಗುರು ಕ್ರೈಸ್ತರ ಧರ್ಮಗುರು ಒಬ್ಬರು ಬಿಷಪ್ ಇದ್ದರು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜನರಲ್ಸ್ ಜನರಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟ್ರಿಗಳು ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಕೆಲಸಗಳನ್ನು ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟ್ರಿಗಳು ಇದ್ದರು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ಆರ್ಮಿ ಒಂದು ಆರ್ಮಿ ಕೂಡ ಇತ್ತು ಒಂದು ಸೇನೆ ಕೂಡ ಅವನಿಗೆ ಇತ್ತು ಇಷ್ಟೆಲ್ಲ ಇತ್ತು ಬರೀ ಸಣ್ಣ ರಾಜ್ಯ ಎಳೆ ಸಾವಿರ ಜನ ಆದರೆ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ರಾಜ್ಯಕ್ಕೆ ಬೇಕಾದ ಎಲ್ಲವೂ ಕೂಡ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇತ್ತು ಒಂದು ಸಂವಿಧಾನ ಒನ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇರ್ ಫೈನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ಆರ್ಮಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಮೆನ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆನ್ ಆರ್ಮಿ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ಡಮ್ ಆಸ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ವೇರ್ ಅ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಟೊಬ್ಯಾಕೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ವೈನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎ ಪೋಲ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ but though the people there drink and smoke as people do in other countries there are so few of them that the prince would have been ha- hard put to it feed his countries feed his courtiers and officials and to keep himself if he had not found a new and special source of revenue this special revenue comes from a gaming house where people play roulette people play and whether they win or lose the keeper always gets a percentage on the turnover and out of his profits he pays a large sum to the prince the reason he pays so much is that it is the only such gambling establishment left in europe some of the little german sovereigns used to keep gaming houses of the same kind but some years ago they were forbidden to do so the reason they were stopped was because these gaming houses did so much harm a man would come and try his luck then he would risk all he had and lose it then he would even risk money that did not belong to him and lose that too and then in despair he would drown he would drown or shoot himself so the germans forbade their rulers to make money in this way but there was no one to stop the prince of monaco and he remained with the monopoly of the business so idu monaco dali in in monaco the gaming was permitted because it was fetching more income to the country whereas in the neighboring country germany the such gaming was forbidden that was forbidden because it was ruining the people it was ruining the life of the people whereas in monaco they were continuing with this game and the name of the game was roulette r o u l e t t e roulette roulette is the game ah adu ondu rithiya juju ondu juju aata gambling adralli jana hana hodtare adrishta iddavanige duddu bartade but if you lose the money or if you gain the money the owner of the roulette house the owner of gambling house he was getting ample money and he was paying a very good revenue to the country which country monaco he was paying very good revenue very good tax to the country so monaco kinglet was permitting gambling house gambling house and bidtiru so this this is the story uh, what was happening in monaco look at the next paragraph so now everyone who wants uh, wants to gamble goes to monaco whether they win or lose the prince gains by it you can't earn stone palaces by honest labor as the proverb says the kinglet of monaco knows it is a dirty business but what is what is he to do he has he has to live 
and to draw a revenue from drink and from tobacco is also not a nice thing. So he lives and reigns and rakes in money and holds his court with all the ceremony of a real king. Though the gambling was forbidden in other countries, Monaco was only country which was permitting gambling. So therefore what was happening? All the people from different countries in Europe, they were coming down to Monaco. For what? To, to play the game. What game? Roulette game. ಈ ಆಟವನ್ನು ಆಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಬೇರೆ ಎಲ್ಲೂ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ನೋಡಿ ಮೊನಾಕೋದಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಇದ್ದದ್ದು ಮೊನಾಕೋದಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾಕೆ ಬಿಡ್ತಿದ್ರು ಅದು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಕೊಡ್ತಿತ್ತು ದೇಶಕ್ಕೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಉಳಿದ ದೇಶದ ಜನರು ಕೂಡ ಅವರ ದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲದಂತಹ ಗ್ಯಾಮ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಗೇಮನ್ನು ಆಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ರೌಲೆಟ್ ಗೇಮನ್ನು ಆಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಮೊನಾಕೋಗೆ ಬರ್ತಿದ್ರು ಸೊ ಮೊನಾಕೋದ ಅರಸನಿಗೆ ಮೊನಾಕೋದ ಕಿಂಗ್ಲೆಟ್ಗೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ದುಡ್ಡು ಆಗ್ತಿತ್ತು ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಕೊರೋನೇಷನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಲೆವೀಸ್ he he rewards sentences and pardons and he also has his reviews councils laws and courts of justice just like other kings only all on a smaller scale ulida rajyagalalli idda hage avunalliyu kuda justice koduvantaddu prajagala ahwalanna keluvantaddu everything was there everything was there but in a small scale come to the next page now it happened a few years ago that a murder was committed in this toy princess domains the people of that kingdom are peaceable and such a thing had not happened before the judges assembled with much ceremony and tried the case in the most judicial manner there were judges the procedures and jurymen and barristers they argued and judged and at last they condemned the criminal to have his head cut off as the law directs so far so good next they submitted the sentence to the prince the prince read the sentence and confirmed it if the fellow must be executed execute him he in the monaco dalli what happened one one murder happened one murder aitu murder aadaga alli ಕಾನೂನು ಕೋರ್ಟಿಗೆ ಕೇಸ್ ಹೋಯಿತು ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಸೇರಿ ಜಡ್ಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟರು ಆ ದೇಶದ ಕಾನೂನು ಪ್ರಕಾರ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಲಾ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಮನಾಕೋ ಇಫ್ ಸಂಬಡಿ ಮರ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಸಂಬಡಿ ಹಿಸ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಕಟ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಕಟ್ ತಲೆಯನ್ನು ಕಡಿಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಆಯಿತು ಸರಿ ತಲೆಯನ್ನು ಕಡಿಯುವಂಥ ನಿರ್ಣಯವನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿದರು ದ ಜಡ್ಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಗೀವನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಜಜ್ ದ ಜಡ್ಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ರೆಡ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದ ಕ್ರಿಮಿನಲ್ ಆ ಕ್ರಿಮಿನಲ್ನ ಎದುರು ಓದಿ ಹೇಳಿದರು ನೋಡಪ್ಪ ನಿನ್ನ ತಲೆ ಕಡಿಯುವಂಥ ನಿರ್ಣಯಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಬಂದಿದ್ದೇವೆ then the murderer he confirmed it aitu if the head has to be cut you cut it nanna tale kadibeku antidre kadiri anta helida yen hedarlilla okay now the story is interesting avana tale kadilikke aadesha illa aitu adre munde yen aagutade we shall see there was only one hitch in the matter and that was that they had neither a gelatin for cutting heads off nor an executioner the ministers considered the matter and decided to address an inquiry to the french government asking whether the french could not lend them a machine and an expert to cut off the criminal's head and if so would the french kindly inform them what it would cost the letter was sent a week later the reply came a machine and an expert could be supplied and the cost would be 16000 francs this was laid before the king he thought it over 16000 francs the wretch is not worth the money said he can't it be done somehow cheaper why 16000 francs is more than 2 francs a head on the on the whole population the people won't stand it and it may cause a riot so this was the next step in the story avana tale kadibeku anta aitalla the judgment was given to cut his head yes the judgment was accepted by the criminal also but the real problem the monaco government did not have a gelatin stone gelatin gelatin stick gelatin stick anta irutha adanna aa gelatin stick alli taleyanna kadiyuvanta gelatin stick ku irillilla and executioner execute madudu 
ಅಂದರೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಬಳಕೆಗೆ ತರೋದು ಜಾರಿ ಮಾಡೋದು ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಜಾರಿಗೆ ತರುವವರು ಮನೆ ಪ್ರದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ತಲೆ ಕಡಿಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಯಾರು ಜನ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ದೇ ಡಿಸೈಡೆಡ್ ದೇ ಡಿಸೈಡೆಡ್ ಟು ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ ದ ನೇಬರ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಚ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಹತ್ರ ದೇ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ದೇ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಅನ್ ಎನ್ಕ್ವೈರಿ ವಿತ್ ದ ಫ್ರೆಂಚ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅರೇಂಜ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಎ ದೇ ರೋಟ್ ಎ ಲೆಟರ್ ಟು ಫ್ರೆಂಚ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಎ ವೀ ದ ರಿಪ್ಲೈ ಕೇಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ರಿಪ್ಲೈ ಸೆಟ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಚ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕುಡ್ ಅರೇಂಜ್ ಒನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆಗಿ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅರೇಂಜ್ ದ ಮೆಷಿನ್ ಟು ಕಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅರೇಂಜ್ ಬಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಫ್ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಹದಿನಾರು ಸಾವಿರ ಫ್ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಗಳು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ಲೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೊನೆಕೋ ಡಿಸೈಡೆಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ವರ್ತ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೊನೆಕೋ ವಾಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಫ್ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೂ ಫ್ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಬ್ಬನ ತಲೆ ಮೇಲೆ ಎರಡು ಫ್ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಗಿಂತ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ದುಡ್ಡು ನಾವು ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಒಬ್ಬನ ತಲೆ ಕರಿಬೇಕಾ ಇದು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಮಚ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಮಚ್ ಇದು ಆಗಲಿಕ್ಕಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಅವರು ಎಂತ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ದೇ ಥಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾನ್ ಏನು ನೋಡುವ ಸೊ ಅ ಕೌನ್ಸಿಲ್ ವಾಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಟು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ಡನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಡಿಸೈಡೆಡ್ ಟು ಸೆಂಡ್ ಎ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಎನ್ಕ್ವೈರಿ ಟು ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟಲಿ ದ ಫ್ರೆಂಚ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಪಬ್ಲಿಕನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ನೋ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟಲಿ ವಾಸ್ ಎ ಬ್ರದರ್ ಮೊನಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೈಟ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ ಇಂಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಟು ಡೂ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಚೀಪರ್ ಸೊ ದ ಲೆಟರ್ ವಾಸ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಾಮ್ಟ್ ರಿಪ್ಲೈ ವಾಸ್ ರಿಸೀವ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಫ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ನ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ತುಂಬ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಆಯಿತು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಫ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಡಿಡ್ ದೇ ಡೂ ದೇ ಚೋಸ್ ಅನಾದರ್ ನೇಬರಿಂಗ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಇಟಲಿ ಇನ್ ಇಟಲಿ ದೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಎ ಮೊನಾರ್ಕ್ ದೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಎ ಮೊನಾರ್ಕ್ ರಾಜ ಇದ್ದ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡಿಸೈಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಚೀಪರ್ ಅಂತ ಗ್ರಹಿಸಿ ಅವರು ಕಡಿಮೆ ರೇಟಿಗೆ ಇದು ಈ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿಕೊಡುವಂಥ ನಿರ್ಧಾರವನ್ನು ಅಲ್ಲಿಯ ಮೊನಾರ್ಕ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿಯ ಆಡಳಿತಗಾರ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಲೆಟರ್ ಬರೆದು ಅಲ್ಲಿಂದಲೂ ರಿಪ್ಲೈ ಬಂತು ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿತ್ತು ದ ಇಟಾಲಿಯನ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ರೋಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದೇ ವುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪ್ಲೆಷರ್ ಇನ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಬೋತ್ ಅ ಮೆಷಿನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪರ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಫ್ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಇಂಪೋಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಫ್ರೆಂಚ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ನಾವು ಇಟಲಿ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಲೆಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಫ್ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ including traveling expenses this was cheaper but still it seemed too much the rascal was really not worth the money it would still mean nearly 2 francs more per head on the taxes another council was called they discussed and considered how it could be done with less expense could could not one of the soldiers perhaps be got to do it in a rough and homely fashion the general was called and was asked can't you find us a soldier who would cut the man's head off in war they don't mind killing people in fact they, that is what they are trained for so the general uh, talked it over with the soldiers to see whether one of them would not undertake the job but none of the soldiers would do it no they said we don't know how to do it it is not a thing we have been taught we we have been we have been taught fine ega kinglet of the monaco monaco da raja ega nechana madida italy government charged 12000 francs that is also costly ah 12000 kottu ee criminal idiot anna naavu kollike ashtu kashta madbeka no it is not worth so kinglet thought of another thing can't we find our own soldier to cut the head soldiers anyway soldiers in the war soldiers used to cut the heads of the so many people they it is usual for them so one of the soldiers can do it no so this was the thought so the soldiers were asked can you do it but the soldiers said no
so now the council people the ministers they held so many meetings and ultimately they decided instead of death by cutting his head we shall change the punishment we shall give him life imprisonment ajiva jailu ajiva karagraha vasa kodva adu sanpa cheap agabodu antali aa nirdharake bartare adu kuda matte agudilla alli enagutade we shall see the prince agreed to this so and so the matter was arranged the only hitch now was that there was no suitable prison for a man sentenced for life there was a small lock up where people were sometimes kept temporarily but there was no strong prison fit for permanent use however they managed to find a place that would do and they put the young fellow there and placed a guard over him the guard had to watch the criminal and had also to fetch his food from the palace kitchen so even madidro they did, they changed the plan instead of cutting his head now the monaco king and the monaco administration decided to put him in a prison imprisonment but there was no perfect jail there was no perfect prison to keep this young criminal so avananna itlike ee young criminal avanu solpa eleya prayadavalla avananna itlike sariyadantaha jail alli irlilla so avanu elladru odi hodre annuvanta hedarike ittu ivirige so they appointed a guard the in the prison the young criminal was put in the jail and to take care of him one guard was appointed ee vyavasthayanna maadi aithu allinda munde it's very interesting amele matte anaithu nodi the the prisoner remained uh, would would come cheaper the prince agreed to this and so the matter was arranged at the ad maadi aithalla next paragraph nodi the prisoner remained there month after month till a year had passed but when a year had passed the kinglet looking over the account of his income and expenditure one day noticed a new item of expenditure this was for the keep of criminal nor was it a small item either there was a special guard and there was also the man's food it came to more than 600 francs a year and the worst of it was that the fellow was still young and healthy and might live for 50 years when one came to reckon it up the matter was serious it would never do so the prince summoned his ministers and said to them iga uh, the criminal was kept in the prison and one guard was appointed now the new problem arose hosa ondu samasya bantu varshakke 600 francs 600 francs a year was amounting as the expenditure towards the food given to the prisoner food given to the criminal and the salary given to the guard it was 600 francs per year and the king also thought the criminal is very young he may live for 50 more years per year 600 francs into 50 years how much it would become more nearly nearly 30000 nearly 30000 30000 francs that is too much so they decided it is not worth so he called the ministers and said king called the ministers and said what did he say you must find some cheaper way of dealing with this rascal the present plan is too expensive and the ministers met and considered and reconsidered till one of them said gentlemen in my opinion we must dismiss the guard but then rejoined another another minister the fellow will run away well said the first speaker let him run away and be hanged uh, and be hanged to him so they reported the result of their deliberations to the king light and he agreed with them the guard was dismissed and they waited to see what would happen all that happened was that at dinner time the criminal came out and not finding his guard he went to princess kitchen to fetch his own dinner he took what he was given given to him given him returned to the prison shut the door on himself and stayed inside next day 
the same thing occurred. He went for his food at the proper time, but as for running away, he did not show at least sign of it. What was to be done? They considered the matter again. So now, Iga Hossa Church, the new discussion was on. What to be done? The guard has to be removed. Guard and the tegibek. But one, uh, one minister said, if the guard is removed, the criminal may run away. So the first speaker said, the first minister said, let him run away. Let him run away and hang himself. Um, hogi, 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 enu bekadre, um, no? So ultimately the ministers uh, they agreed, they realized it is good and uh, the same matter was reported to the king light. Raja Niki Hedidu, Garda Nategiva, Wodi Hudru, Namig Ole de Aitunda. Adre Naitu, the next day guard was not there. Garda Nategrala, the criminal came out of the room, looked whether the guard is there. Guard was not there. So, guard, guard, there is food to come to the guard. Illa, in Madida, you see the kitchen. You have the Alyavanige, Beka the Aharaki Koda Tinda, room even the Malagida. Next day also did the same thing. He did not try to run away. What do the pity? What do you have got the Pratna Koda Madira? He did not even try to run away because he was getting stomach full food. He was he could rest in the prison room. But no problem was there. So, he was continuing his days. So, this was the new problem to the king. Led. Guard illa, bagilu tegdro un vodi hogu dilla la. Yenta madu do. Thala ka dilli ka agli la. Yar jana sikli la. Bagilu tegdro un vodi hogu do illa. Varsha ke arnuru francs expenditure akta do. What to be done? We shall see what happens. So we shall have to tell him straight out, said they, that we do not want to keep him. So the minister of justice had him uh, brought before him. Why do you not run away? Said the minister. There is no guard to keep you. You can go where you like and the prince will not mind. You know, guard illa didru, he is not running away. Odi hogu dilla. Now they called the guard, uh, criminal and said, See, guard is not there. You can run away anywhere. Why you are not running away? If you run away, the king would not mind. Nin odi hogu raja yeno adra bakke bejar madu dilla. Odi hogu nino. But he was not ready. Now, the things become reverse to the king light. Boom rang after it. If the man proposes, God disposes. Now, the criminal was caught, imprisoned, punishment was imposed to cut his head, but nobody was available to cut his head. Now, uh, he was uh, put in the prison for lifetime. Life imprisonment was given. One guard was appointed. It was way too expensive, so guard was removed. Still, this criminal is not running away. Minister asked him to run away. He is not ready to run away. Now we shall see what is the next phase. I dare say the prince would not mind, replied the man. But I have nowhere to go. What can I do? You have ruined my character by your sentence and people will turn their backs on me. Besides, I have got out of the way of working. You have treated me badly. It is not fair. In the first place, when once you sentenced me to death, you ought to have executed me, but you did not do that. That is one thing. I did not complain about that. Then you sentenced me to imprisonment for life and put a guard to bring me my food. But after a time, you took him away again and I had to fetch my own food again. I did not complain. But now you actually want me to go, go away? I can't agree to agree that. You may do as you like. But I won't go away. This was the reply. See, I can't run away. Because what did you people do? You imposed me a punishment of cutting my head. That was okay for me. But you did not cut my head. That is one thing. After, after that, what did you do? You put the life imprisonment to me. Life imprisonment. That was also okay for me. Okay, I accepted the punishment. You appointed a guard to bring my food. Later, you removed the guard. So, I had to go to kitchen and I had to get the food. For that also, I did not complain. I did not complain. 
but now you are telling me to run away i can't run away if i run away people will turn their back on me nanu iga odi hodre jana mukha tirigistare jana nanna na nodi mukha tirigistare adu nanige agudilla moreover you ruined my life neevu nanna jeevanavalli haal madidiri for long time i am here in the prison i forgot how to work nanige kelasa madudhe marthu hogide what is him what is him what is fun nanu jailinalli idda karana nanige kelasa madudhe marthu hogide nanu horage hodru nanige kelasa madi tinlikke agudilla nanu hogudilla it's a new challenge it's a new challenge we shall see what happens what was to be done once more the council was summoned what what course could they adopt the man would not go they reflected and considered the only way to get rid of him was to offer him a pension and so they reported to the prince there is nothing else for it said they we must get rid of him somehow the sum fixed was 600 francs and this was announced to the prisoner so iga en madidru puna council of ministers they held a meeting they held a meeting and they decided well if he is not willing to run away from the jail we shall give him the pension how much pension 600 francs 600 francs francs per year varshakke 600 francs gala pension kodu pension kota a pension nalli avu baduklike iga avanu complaint enu nanu horage hodre nange kelsa mari baduklike agodilla if i go out i cannot work and i cannot earn my livelihood so for that we have a plan we shall send him out and we shall give him 600 francs pension he can live so idu offer anta heli decide maadi the matter was reported to the king let and king agreed raja oppida aita pa 600 francs pension na fine somehow you make him to go away aita adu aagabodu anta heli oppida raja oppida adanna ee criminal ge bandu heltare aga enagutide nodi and the matter was um, briefed to the criminal that if you move out from the prison 600 francs will be given to you okay well said he i don't mind so long so so long as you undertake to pay it regularly on that condition i am willing to go agbodu nanige niyattininda prati varsha nanige 600 francs annu neevu kodtiri antadre agbodu nanu hogtane hogtane so the matter was settled he received one third of his annuity in advance and left the king's domain dominions it was only a quarter of an hour by rail and he emigrated and settled just across the frontier where he bought a bit of land started market gardening and uh, now lives comfortably he always goes at a proper time to draw his pension having received it 